Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to set up AWS backup solution as infrastructure as a code with using Terraform and Terraform Cloud. Yeah, so as you know that you know AWS backup, which is a centrally managers and automates the automates the backup across the AWS services. Okay, so basically here I'm focusing on how do you configure a solution which can you know set the backup on you know AWS EC2 instance across the region. Okay, across the your your uh, uh, across your application reason I can say yeah so in such cases this is the solution you know will really help you to you know uh, manage your AWS backup infrastructure with using infrastructure as a code yeah so when I say infrastructure as a code I am using here Terraform and also doing the CI/CD task with using GitHub Actions yeah so as you see my code will be sitting in a GitHub and I will be using GitHub Actions to invoke the you know CI/CD tasks where we will be using a, a terraform cloud to store our you know remote state file yeah so that becomes a container where we can store your you know infrastructure you know state file or our terraform state file all right so once that is been done you know the uh, the at the end you know aws backup infrastructure okay so when i say aws backup infrastructure in the sense it does creates a aws you know backup plans backup vault and required iam policies and all yeah iam roles and policies and all yeah all right, so these are the complete setup. Okay, this is a kind of, a kind of a complete AWS backup package, yeah, which you can readymadely use your terror production environment and and your EC2 instance running in the particular location will get for the you know onboarded for you know uh, AWS backup, yeah. All right, so before I walk you through the next steps, uh, a kind request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. So with that note, let's directly jump to this demo. So here I do two steps. Okay, one is I will just walk you through the code, which is very you know I like a top view our top view uh, code walkthrough and also I will explain about the setups and finally I will show you the demo okay so three steps I would like to show you here yeah so first of all as I said you know this is a pictorial overview which I explained like you know where we, we will be sitting our you know where we will be hosting our Terraform uh, file and the github action file and the github repo yeah and uh, the github actions will invoke the Terraform cloud uh, a Terraform cloud you know remote state file it will get the remote state file status it will update the remote state file you know remote uh, uh, remote state file status as well yeah i will show you like you know how do you configure the uh, uh, terraform cloud organizations workspace and how do you configure the other required configurations at terraform cloud as well yeah uh, again so then after that you know github actions when it uses these two it will uh, take a connections it will make a connections to the aws and provision the you now provision the aws uh, infrastructure that is aws backup infrastructure yeah all right so before that i just want to walk you through the terraform cloud so I have made a dedicated video on the Terraform Cloud. If you'd like to you know, see that video, please do and watch my previous video where I have explained everything from the everything from the scratch in regards to how do you set up your you know Terraform Cloud environment where you can host your remote state file. Yeah. So earlier, you know, earlier days we used to host our Terraform state file in the storage account. Then we used to use the you know um, what is that? We used to use the uh, DynamoDB and achieve the you know uh, achieve the uh, Terraform state file locking. Uh, achieve the Terraform st state file, you know, usage during the CI/CD task. Okay, so that was the good old days. But you know, uh, now the Terraform, you know, has natively providing a capability where you know it will help you to create the workspace and store the work, store your Terraform state file, you know, in that space. Yeah, that is very organized and and very scalable as well. I can say. Yeah. So for this case, you know, this is my you know Terraform cloud, which is a free subscription for now. As you see, there is an upgrade button. Yeah. So in that one, in this uh, in this one, so this is my Terraform cloud account. Here, you know, this is the URL link that you can go. Yeah, that is app.terraform.io. If you go there, then you can set up your, your account. Yeah. Once you set up the account, so you must create an organization. If you see right now, I have two organizations. One is Cloud Quick POCs, which was you know earlier my YouTube channel name. I have changed my channel name, you know, to make sense something. Yeah. To make uh, the you know uh, what is the you know what is the idea that I am putting in my you know you know uh, YouTube channel. Okay. So that is you know I'm just focusing more on the lab task of you know cloud lab task that's the reason i made you know the name change to cloud quick labs all right so so this is the you know organizations i have created for this demo yeah under this organizations i created a workspace called aws backup because you know this is the demo i'm focusing on aws backup then after that you know after under this aws backup workspace i created the you know environmental variable of the workspace okay because you know when you create a workspace organization is a, like a big container under the big container, you can have small, small container car workspaces. Okay, so one one workspaces you can target for one one type of configurations. Okay, here AWS backup. So I'm I'm creating a container called AWS backup as a workspace. 
and in that one workspace you know i will be keeping all the backup infrastructure related state file there yeah that is what you know organization i mean yeah this is how organize yeah and here you need to create you know two environmental variables okay you see this is category so if i go back the category is environmental variable so how do you do that so go here and select this environmental variable and type the key name something like this okay it should be exactly like this yeah don't make uh, changes here and there yeah it won't work aws secret underscore access key yeah so this is the key and this is the access key id and this is the access secret yeah and that's the reason i made the two environmental variables on my workspace which i'm using for aws backup all right so that is the one setting i did and just yeah, so what i did what did i do here so one is i created organizations under terraform cloud i created a workspace i created the you know environmental variable now what did i do that is a four task so what for that case i did is you know i went to the you know user settings you need to go to the user settings and go to the take tokens yeah and then you need to create a token you know which you can use it in a you know infrastructure as a code in in the github actions okay so for this case i use this token i copied this token and now okay so i copied this token and put it under the github action files yeah github workflow files now so this is all about the you know terraform uh, cloud level setup that i did now let's go to the another side okay so if i can go back to my slide so another side is at the github actions level are are, are in total at the github side okay so to show you a complete end to end demo okay what i did is i have set up the you know complete a new github okay so i have a github account so in that one i have this is the my github repo even though name is azure ix so but now i am not look, touching at the azure but this is only focusing on aws all right so under that one so you see these are the folder structures are being created and underneath i have kept a main data of a file right and also in in this uh, you know in this uh, repo i have two branches one is the future you know future branch one and another one is the main branch so future branch one is a my development branch where i do my code changes uh, you know i do rough work and finally i merge the code into main branch from where actually the release a task will be explained you know, or will be done yeah i have explained like you know how did i achieve the branching strategy in my previous old videos please do watch those videos as well if you want to understand you know infrastructure as a code you know branching strategy setting the all the credential strategy something like that yeah all right so that is the you know branching strategy i did okay so now what i do is i will walk you through this file you know very uh, like a 100 feet view i mean what i mean to say is i will quickly walk you through the you know the code of this repo yeah all right so the currently i'm in a future branch one so here what i did is in this main dot terraform file so as the namespace main dot terraform file so it's a invocation file in the in this aws backup infrastructure secret solution yeah all right so that is a main uh, this is an invocation file you can call it as a or a main file you can call it so in this main file what we are doing is we are providing certain data that is required one is the provider because we are working with the aws provider that's the reason the aws providers have been given here then we have the remote backend so earlier days as i said we used to have s3 bucket remote backend but now we are using you know cloud that is a terraform cloud backend right so where we have the, this is my organization name and this is my workspace name okay so this is the format that you need to give for your backend configurations then after that you know you have to set the provider okay so provider here is the aws provider and the, you know in that aws you know you need to set a context right because aws account has multiple you know uh, regions yeah like us east us west something like that yeah so i am focusing on north virginia region that is the us east one and after that you know uh, after that i did is i created these uh, infrastructure that is the backup infrastructure into two components one is when you set up a backup you need to have permissions on the aws account right so permissions in the sense you need to have certain iam roles policies you know attached together which can help the backup aws backup service to take the backup from the you know uh, to take the backup from the uh, ec2 instance okay that's the reason i articulated the infrastructure into i am back i am backup i am pack and also backup infra pack yeah so when i say i am backup uh, uh, backup i am in the sense it contains i am configurations backup infra in the sense it contains backup infrastructure okay so once you set this infrastructure with using backup i am and backup infrastructure then automatically your backup solution is ready yeah all right so which is a automated backup solution i can say all right so i have just commented out for some uh, you know for demo purpose so let me uncomment these uh, uh, modules and i will walk you through the uh, the rest part of the code as well so now what i did is since i articulated uh, the complete infrastructure into two modules one is im and other one is backup infra 
I created the module. So this is very simple one, very simple straightforward one. So that this is the name of my module. Yeah. And it invokes the folder called IAM. So okay, now let me go to the IAM. So enter this one. So you see this is a IAM backup Terraform file. As I said, it contains uh, multiple resources, okay, uh, which is encapsulates each other and creates the IAM, you know, access required at AWS account to perform the backup. Okay, so now first of all, let me walk you through this code as well quickly. So here, you know, we are just getting the, you know, uh, getting the uh, STS assume role data. Yeah, so that's the reason I'm using the resource type equal to data. And this is the resource type and this is the name of my yeah, data. All right, I'm getting there. I'm getting the, you know, assume, uh, assume service role. Yeah, I'm getting the assume service role body in, the, in that case. Yeah. So this is the data I'm getting. And after that, you know, I'm also getting the certain policies, which are, you know, that is the AWS managed policies. Okay. So one is AWS backup service role for backup. Okay. So this is the policy I'm getting. And also I'm getting with the one more policy called restore policy because you know, not only backup. Okay. We also need to perform the backup. So this I backup I am pack, you know, provides you both the capabilities. Yeah. So for, for this case, what I'm doing is I'm retrieving those policy, you know, informations with the using the data resource type in the Terraform. Okay. All right. So after that, you know, I'm getting the caller identity, nothing but, you know, we need the, you know, uh, the profile identity. So that's the reason data is again used and we are getting the caller identity here. And after that, again, we are getting the IAM document. So in the sense, IAM policy document, and this is the statement we want. Yeah. So this is a, just a getting the IAM document. Yeah. We're getting that. And finally, we are creating a IAM rule mean for, you know, backup purpose. And the name has been given something like this. Okay. So here, if you see, there is a difference here. Okay. Earlier, we are used to just retrieve the data which is present in the AWS. Now we are creating the data with using our own inputs. That is what, you know, two tasks that Terraform does for us. This is AWS IAM role. We are creating a new role. Okay. So this is the, you know, friendly name of that, you know, uh, this, uh, uh, this Terraform code. Yeah. Or variable, you can call it. So inside this one, we are giving the name of the role, something like this. That is example AWS backup service role. Then we have the description. We have the, you know, policy. Then I'm also creating some tags, you know, just, just to make sure, you know, our infrastructure is segregated. Finally, what I'm doing. So I, I have a role. I have a policy. Now what I need to do is I need to attach a role policy. Yeah, that's the reason this, this is the, what, you know, the next three resources are doing. We are attaching the policies. Okay. So the policies which we retrieved above is being attached to the role okay the role which i have created above you see the uh, the role yeah all right okay so right now we are done with the you know i am backup infrastructure yeah that's the reason the new module has been created for i am backup similarly our backup i am yeah let's go to the next one so this is the main file which actually you know uh, kind of stitches or, or it it's actually creates infrastructure which is required for to automate your you know ec2 instance backup yeah Consider that, you know, uh, uh, you know, you, you are from the AWS platform team. Okay. You need to set up the uh, backup solution. You need to manage the backup solution as a infrastructure as a code. So in that case, you know, you are not going ahead and configuring the backup of each inst each EC2 instance manually. But what you do is you need to provision, a, you know, infrastructure, which is automated infrastructure, which automatically identifies the EC2 instance and starts the backing up. Yeah. And this is the solution, you know, which can help you in that case. What, what is the magic I'm doing here? I'm doing nothing. Okay. I'm just creating a backup plan. In the backup plan, I'm targeting to a EC2 instance with, or I'm targeting to a, a resources which supports the AWS backup, which has, okay, which has, um, which has a certain tag key and values. That is what I know this uh, solution is telling you. First of all, let me, to, let me show you that as well. So here, all right, let me save this and I will go back and let me enlarge this so that you can see it very clearly. So here we are creating the locals. Okay. What is that locals? So local is nothing but, you know, uh, uh, it's kind of a, uh, uh, in-house, uh, you know, uh, in time, you know, runtime variables, you can call it locals in Terraform is nothing but runtime variables that you want to declare. So that's the reason we are creating a, a locals as a map here. And, and that map contains two variables. One is a schedule, which is a scron job. Okay. This is a scram job, which is defined in UTC. Yeah. And uh, what is that it does? It, 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 it runs for, you know, seven days from Monday to Friday, five days from Monday to uh, Friday and retention is up to seven days. Okay. So let me make some manual changes. This is UTC time. Okay. The schedule of backup is, you know, from Monday to Friday and the retention is seven day. You can change this data according to your, you know, according to your business needs. And after that, we are setting the, you know, a resource called AWS backup world. Okay. Because to store your backup, you need to have the backup wall, right? So that's the reason backup wall has been stored here. 
and the name and tags have been given yeah all right now next go to the plan so in the in the aws one so this is the main infrastructure which we are looking for here yeah so here as you see uh, this is a resource again and this is the resource type that is aws backup plan and this is the variable name and inside this one we are providing multiple you know parameters which we needed one is the name of my backup plan so this is my name of the backup plan i will tell you and the rule okay so here uh, here the rule so what does the you know backup plan what does the backup plan uh, you know look like so that i have defined that i have defined in the you know backup rule okay so in the sense how does your backup plan should work so that is what it means yeah? it, it's a called as a backup rule so in this one we are creating a rule name and the targeted vault or in the sense that which backup what you want to target the backups present in present under this plan yeah so that is a backup part which i created above then start window so the so start window is 60 and completion window is you know 300 yeah all right so that is you know it runs every one hour something like that yeah all right the life cycle is uh, uh, you know so life cycle so local backup retention in the sense delete every backup which you have taken after seven days that is what you know local retention tells you you can you know you can change this value according to uh, you know your you know your need yeah so next one is the recovery point tag so if you want to recover something back so uh, recovery point tag so these are the recovery point tags yeah that is the project name and the role and the creator so if you these keys has these values then that that is what it means that that target is mean for you know recovery tags yeah then the tags so the, then you are we are creating some tags on the backup as well and you see this is the backup yeah so we are so we are, we are just nothing but we are tagging the backup uh, uh, plan here now we are doing nothing yeah all right so the next one next one is the magic okay so right now we had a vault we created a backup but that is not enough no? we need to select so on which target you need to you know you need to target so that is what you know backup selection has been defined here so if i go to this definition so here the resources backup selection so before that so here we need a role right so that's the reason the role data has been fetched here which is the created in the another module yeah all right so not to confuse i'm just explaining that now next one we go to this one so we are creating the backup selection so this is the backup selections parameters one is we you need a uh, you know i am role which has been uh, retrieved from here you need a name you need a plan id then the selection tag okay so selection tab is the type is you know uh, uh, string equals okay the type is string equals in the sense the resources which supports the aws backup and has the tag okay it has a tag it calls key calls backup and value equal to true because for example you create a issue instance tag the issue instance with the key called backup and value equal to true then this plan will automatically select those you know uh, uh, targets and, and starts to backup okay so that's the reason this is an idea okay this is like a backup slain uh, backup selections uh, you know uh, configuration that you are doing in a plan all right so that's also i have successfully walked you through this you know main infrastructure as a code for aws backup now let's go to this you know final setup you know so not only this this is not enough yeah we need to have the workflows so the nerf flow is nothing but you know uh, the github action definitions which invokes terraform plan and terraform apply yeah? i have explained this github actions plan and terraform in very you know very detailed manner in the previous videos please do watch if you want more detailed yeah but here i will just roughly walk you through this so one is the terraform plan so you know that you know whenever we provision the infrastructure with using terraform we need to do two tasks one is the, at least you have to do terraform plan then you have to you know you if you like to have then you can do a verify and plan then also you can then after the plan only you know what is the what does the terraform plan so terraform plan is nothing but it will just create a draft of the infrastructure and it will give the summary so in the sense it, it has not yet created the infrastructure but it has read the in, uh, terraform file and it found out that you know it was going to create these many infrastructure so that is what terraform plan tells you once you are good with the plan you can do a terraform apply where the infrastructure gets inf you know uh, created all right so here in this uh, uh, plan as the name space i'm just creating a plan only so here so here you see i have defined so if i can target here so there is this is the name of my action and the uh, the trigger point is something like you know on push targeting to this branch then we have the terraform job job equal to terraform job name is this one and the environmental variable so i'm setting this environmental variable because i need okay i need github actions to show the logs okay that's the reason i'm setting those uh, you know infrastructure uh, setting those key, access key id and value and after that we have the checkout after that we have the steps in that one checkout is the steps then terraform setup is the uh, task okay so terraform setup is nothing but this is a play, place you know where you are establishing connections to your terraform cloud with using you know terraform api token all right and after that we are running the uh, task called as a you know uh, terraform init steps called you know uh, task or steps okay 
terraform init and terraform plan yeah similarly this is the same thing okay this is the same thing but here some changes okay here it targets to main and uh, this is the environmental variables yeah and finally that we are doing the checkout and uh, setup connections that is the terraform cloud uh, setup connections terraform init plan here also i'm running the plan one more time for you know just for the demo purpose and finally we are invoking the terraform apply you see terraform apply has been invoked all right so pretty much uh, i have discussed this one so before that you know uh, before that i show you the you know uh, actual invocation so let me go back to the github uh, uh, you know uh, my uh, uh, let me go back to the my uh, github repo and i will show you my github action setups as well so this is my github repo yeah uh, this is my this is my project this is my github repo under that one i have the code okay so under the code you see i have two branches one is a main and another one is a feature branch yeah? and in the github actions okay in the github actions so uh, uh, yeah so here we have the github actions which has been explained now i go to the aws console this is my aws console where i am creating the you know uh, AWS backup solution, which is with using infrastructure as a code. You know, I'm using latest technologies here, GitHub Actions and Terraform Cloud. Yeah, and you see there are no plans and there is no you know vault being custom vault being created here. Okay, there is no plans and there is no vaults. Now I will show you that when I when I release this, uh, we have those been created now. Let me uh, uh, merge the changes which I did for this demo. I will call it as a AWS uh, backup demo and final so what i'm doing is i'm making the changes okay what are the changes i'm making this code i'm committing it yeah what did i do here i did uncomment okay because for the demo purpose i have been committed that i mean i commented that but now i'm committing back with making the changes yeah so let me do a synchronization so as i said when i do a synchronization from the future branch one the github action plan will be invoked but it will not invoke the github you know apply as well why because you know to apply i need to make the code merger from future branch one to main branch which i will show you the you know subsequently now since we you know pushed some changes from the local future branch once to the upstream future branch one so let me take you to here we should see some you know uh, plans getting run so you see the terraform plan okay so you see the infra plan is now running yeah now let's see what does plan tells us we need to wait for very you know patience fully you see it's completely live i'm showing you even the runtime you know live as well yeah uh, currently it does the plan yeah? you see as you see it is uh, uh, you know configuring the remote backend it has established the connection and it has identified it has read the file okay and it did check that you know it, it's going to create a seven resource add zero changes and zero desktop okay so that is what plan is doing for your information okay so if i can go down so this is big plan summary you see it's going to add seven resource zero changes and zero rest time so if i refresh here so you see till now the backup plan has not been created but it only gets created when i need to merge the code from future branch one to my another branch okay because this is how i have defined my github actions in your case it can change okay so for this case i make a merger from my uh, future branch one yeah so you see i'm making merger from future branch one to main branch create the pull request creating pull request is not enough i need to merge it okay so i do uh, subsequently you see the pull request is uh, created and let me merge it okay so merger will invoke the terraform apply and let me go to the github actions so once the terraform apply gets completed you know uh, that will create uh, uh, that will create the infrastructure in the aws all right so let me quickly show you the logs okay the parallel okay the real time logs of okay real time logs of this run as well finally i will also show you that you know there is something is also happening from the terraform cloud as well i will go back to the uh, 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 our um, uh, this one uh, our organizations go back to the uh, this one go to the runs you see uh, 30 minutes ago something has been applied but uh, uh, you know currently it is doing something yeah so you see it is currently invoking the terraform plan and also terraform apply as well so this you see the the logs are getting run yeah all right let's wait for this to get complete and i will show you the logs uh, after the run is completed yeah it takes less than 30 minutes okay and uh, after that i will show you that you know infrastructure is created in the aws backup okay that completes the you know uh, the aim of this demo anyways the files will be shared in the github repo and the GitHub repo link will be shared in this video's description. Please find these files from there. Yeah. 
All right, so let's wait for uh, Terraform to finish its job. Okay, so it is creating multiple resources. You see, it added some resources, zero changes and zero destroyed. All right. Okay, looks like it has created, you see, went green, which means that, you know, good sign. Okay, it has created the, it has created the infrastructure for us. So if I can show you the logs, you see, the logs is very huge. Right? All right, so I, let me show you the resources are being created here now. If I go to the vault, um, dashboards uh, and uh, vaults, uh, I need to refresh the vaults, okay, because, you know, console is, uh, is not refreshing itself. So I need to refresh the console so that we see the vault. You see that the lab, you know, lab backup vault is being created now. Yeah. And we also need to see the plan. Okay. So you see the lab backup plan is created now with whatever definitions we have written. Okay. So if I go to this rule, you see whatever it is. Okay. This is the name of my rule and the frequency is, you know, from Monday to Friday and the retention is, you know, it starts with every one hour. Okay. So the, it has been scheduled. Okay. It's a very one hour. It will check the resources. It will do a it will do the uh, uh, you know it will do the backup within within uh, uh, five five hours from that yeah all right and the targets you see yeah so if I go back to the plan um, so the the resource assignments okay you see the resource assignment is the you know, this is the lab servers okay so lab servers where the resource assignment in the sense the targets yeah wherever the tag equal to backup equal to true that is what so now after the solution is provisioned you go and create a instant instance with the tag backup and true it should be it should be uh, the backup plan should apply that you know logic on that one yeah? and it, it has to start the backup all right so that is about the infrastructure is successfully provisioned and if you go to the im so there also we should see the role being created for us yeah so what was the role name we have given i will also show you that finally and uh, let me go to the im im guys so and uh, let's go to the role so where is what the role so this is what our role and i will show that the role also get got created with this okay so if i go to the roles and here you see the role has been created yeah and uh, and the trust okay so you see uh, the the you know it has these many policies are being created and uh, the trust okay so it has a trust to the uh, backup service all right so this is the infrastructure is created now i will show you the final stage you know if we go to the uh, uh, your backup i go to the runs yeah go to the, your backup workspace aws backup workspace and you see the last run okay the current run is this is the run which got created the whatever log we saw in the github actions the same will be shown here okay apply finished okay so you see the it, it is showing the apply logs yeah and the plan okay so it, it is doing two jobs okay one is plan and apply so you see yeah it has finished the plan and it has finished the uh, it has finished the both okay so one is the plan is finished apply is finished yeah this is a lot to run okay and if you go to the states you see the latest okay that this is the state okay um yeah this is the state file all right earlier we used to see this state file uh, in the you know uh, in the storage but now it is local yeah it is local to terraform all right so that's all i have successfully shown you the things to be shown here i know completely from scratch to end like you know how you can set up a automated aws backup infrastructure at aws which can take the backup of each instance automatically all right so with that note thank you uh, thanks a lot for watching my videos kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot